To find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements here in CuCl2, we'll use these general rules here. When we look for copper here on our list, we don't see it. That's because copper can often be plus one or plus two, depending on its oxidation state. We do, however, go down here and see group 17, sometimes called 7A. That's the one that chlorine is in, and that those have an oxidation number of minus one, except in a few cases. So each one of these chlorines is going to have an oxidation number of minus one. We also note that in a neutral compound, and this is a neutral compound because we don't have an overall plus or minus charge like we have with ions. In a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. So we could make a statement like this, whatever copper is plus the negative one for the chlorine, and we do have two chlorines, that will all equal zero. So in order for this to be true, we need to have a plus two for the copper, plus two, minus two, that gives us zero. So the oxidation number for the copper in CuCl2 is plus two. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each of the elements in CuCl2, copper two chloride. Thanks for watching.